Eighteens. Mm, how are you all doing? Mm, we come together this day on a call that has been titled 21 Days into the Shift. Mm, rarely meeting every 21 days. Mm, regardless, coming together to recognize, as it was shared earlier, your days are not the same days as they were. Your world is not the same world as it was. It is like going to the roulette table at the gambling hall. Mm -hmm. And you go to the roulette table and you know that there, the roulette table is one green spot where the ball can fall into and you will win big. The rest are black and white. Except at this roulette table, all the spots are green. You cannot lose. And yet we sit here and say, put your money down. Throw it all in. Give it all up. Don't you see that every slot on the wheel is a winner? And yet still we have those who stand in the background unwilling to put in what they have, afraid that they will lose. They will lose something, not realizing that every slot is a winner. It is an impossibility to lose at this game. If there were such thing as losing, it would be not playing. Not playing. Not choosing to put everything into what looks like a gamble when you look closer is not a gamble. If we told each one of you, go play the lottery today, you will win. Hmm? You will say, oh, I will go play the lottery. It will only cost me a euro or a pound or a dollar. Hmm? I have to give little to get a lot. And you're willing to do that because you have to give little to get a lot. Yet if we say, put your whole life into the direction of the improvement of who you are by being more loving, by praying more, by being kinder, by giving more of yourself to your own children, to your family, Mm -hmm. to cease doing the things that are illegal for the sake of your family and yourself. To put the money you earn into your spirit. To eat cleaner food. To make the importance of your physical body, its health, important. to cease filling the mind with poison through horror and violence. Yet a part of you says that is too much for me to put on the line. Yet what you will win, what you will gain from living a life dedicated to your spiritual path, far outweighs billions of dollars, billions of pounds, 
for even the billions you will let go of once you leave this body. You cannot take it with you. It will all stay. The house you work so hard to acquire, that will stay and eventually fall apart. Eventually someone else will inhabit it. But what is yours eternally to take with you as you is the fruit of the labor you put into into this life on your spiritual path. Do you not understand this? Do you not see that what you do today will affect your tomorrow? And what you do tomorrow will affect the next, and what you do in this life affects the next life, the next experience. There are many mansions in God's kingdom. Yet the keys to unlock the doors to greater mansions is the keys of consciousness. The key of love. The key of light. And if you do not hold that frequency, it is not that the door is locked to you. There are no locked doors in God's kingdom. It is that you will not feel worthy to enter. It is like looking into a door and seeing pearl white carpets, perfectly clean, white roses everywhere. People inside the room wearing all white, the scent coming from them of rose, their eyes gleaming, radiant with light all around them, their hearts open, soft, humble, kind. And you walk to the door and they say, come in, please come in. And you look down and there's mud all over your shoes. You notice that your body smells because your mind is unclean still carrying emotional belief, still carrying addictions. And you say, I cannot go in there. And all of you have said this many times. I cannot go in. It's so clean in there. Look at me. All the while those in the room are beckoning you in. They care not what you look like what you smell like, how unclean your expression is. They want you in because they want to clean you, because they love you, but they cannot force you. And how many come to this door and will not come in because of their own shame? Their own shame their own judgments on themselves. We will say we have witnessed many. And indeed, there are realms beyond this realm where you must hold a specific frequency to enter, not out of judgment, out of balance. Mm -hmm. You cannot put an 80 watt bulb in an 80,000 volt circuit. The bulb will explode. Yet you are here in the great school with a great opportunity. And your planet is shifting, changing, raising her frequency, holding space for all the children upon her to raise their frequency.
their energy, to become humble, to clean themselves. Yet how many do not take the opportunity who will create another life, another world similar to earth? Know this, once the earth ascends, there will be no returning. There will not be an earth to go to, as you know it. There will not be the possibility to be reborn here. There will not be a here. It will have transformed. Yet the opportunity you have now, you are here. Do you realize many would love to be here? Yet there is a balance, and only so many can come. And it is at its maximum. Dispensation after dispensation for those souls to come into this world was made and agreed upon. Hence you've had a boom in childbirth of those to come here and take a deep breath. What does it look like for you to do whatever it is required for you to do? You already know. You already know. For some of you it is to take care of your body more. For some of you, it is to get active in a new work. For some of you, it is to let go of a work that's not serving you or those around you. For some of it's you, to meditate more or to go on that journey you know you are to go on or to move, whatever it is, you already know. You already know. And this sharing will go out and we will send it to you so you can hear it again. And you can send it to others so they can hear. Why do you play as if you have all the time in the world? Why do you act as if this moment and this day is not the most valuable gift you have? Why do you waste such a precious gift? when the golden path is beneath your feet. The roulette table spinning in every slot is a victory. Why do you not put everything into that and say, take it all? When the ball lands, I can only win. But if I don't play fully, if I don't put it all out, and I just stand and watch, watching others play, I cannot win, win this game, because I'm not playing fully. I'm playing it safe. I'll just stand on the side and look. That's for those people. They're much more spiritual than I am. That's for them, not for me. I have a mortgage to tend to. I'm a mother. I'm a father. I cannot do that. I have bills to pay. Hear us, beloved. All who will hear this, hear us clearly. Time is not on your side. 
the days tick by. The shift is in full bloom. Indeed, there is nothing to fear. It is a great gift. Yet if you are not participating in the game, if you are not active in the game, there is nothing any being in existence can do. And you will have the experience you will have. Indeed, no one is left behind. No one is unloved. All are cared for. Yet it is our intent that while you are here, you walk the golden path. You live the golden life. The gap between you and the awareness of what you call divine beings closes. And take a deep breath. Breathe. Make haste. Do not waste another moment. For a day will come soon. And the physical reality will change right before your eyes. And you will either be prepared emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, or not. As we have shared before, there will be those who will see with eyes of fear and they will experience terror. There will be those who are seeing the same exact thing and they will be filled with wonder and will be in the frequency of celebration according to their frequency their consciousness. What is upon you is a wonder beyond imagination. Has never been seen. Is totally new. And you can begin to experience the beauty of this experience of the awakening now, today, all that you feel is important is going to fall anyway. Make your eternal spirit most important. And all that you believe to be important will be taken care of in a grace you currently do not know. And take a deep breath.
take a deep breath. We've been asked to elaborate on the art of thriving. What does it mean to thrive? When one is truly thriving, they are in alignment with their four bodies. Mm, their spiritual, etheric light body is in alignment with the emotional body. The emotional body is in alignment with the mental body. And the mental body is projecting in alignment with the physical body. And all four move in unison as one body. All of humanity, except for those you call masters, are out of balance. One or more of the bodies are like a wheel that wobbles on the car, causing the vehicle not to be able to drive straight, taking a lot of effort to hold the wheel, because you have one wheel going one way, another wheel going another way, another wheel's not spinning at all. To thrive has nothing to do with money, mm? with things. These are natural byproducts, expressions of one who is in the frequency, who is the frequency of thriving. To thrive is to be united with God, to know one's source, to be connected with all those in creation all expressions who hold to divine love, who live and express divine love. Do hmm? you believe those you call masters toil over money or things? No, there's no need for that. All that is required for any given moment is automatically there. There's no need to toil. What a waste of energy to have to think or have to create or call forth anything. That which is God, mother, father, has already supplied everything for the experience, for a fruitful experience. Yet to experience this fruit one must be aligned in all their bodies. When you are aligned in your bodies, you are thriving. When you are thriving, there is not a want for anything. There's simply the joy of being. Indeed, money comes and goes. Things come and go. Yet in most survive instead of thrive. Some survive well. You call them millionaires. They're still surviving. Just because their financial situation is thriving does not mean they are thriving. Their emotional body is out of balance. Their mental body out of balance their physical health out of balance. To be an artisan of thriving is to be balanced in all four bodies. And from that expression, the true essence of the sacred heart flows uninhibited into this reality. And everything required for any given moment flows gracefully. <laughs> Hence we offer this extended course 
to educate, to bring out, to bring in harmony, like a symphony, your four bodies. And in that you express in a whole new way. Struggle will cease to exist in your reality. For we were asked, there were those asking, what will I get? There will be many gifts from this. One we will share. Struggle will cease to exist in your reality. If that is of value to you, then come. Take a deep breath. We give our gratitude to each and every one of you for your courage to create, to be here today. It is you who have called forth the remembering that in this game that seems like a gamble, you can only win, but you must play. We thank each and every one of you. We honor each and every one of you. And may you find the true value of who you are. Namaste.